Hello and welcome to World Creativity Day 2021. My name is Nirish Shakya and I'm a design thinking consultant, educator and coach. And I'm also the local leader for London for World Creativity Day. World Creativity Day is the biggest global festival of creativity that will take place on the 21st and 22nd of April. And we have 120 cities from 19 countries participating and bringing to you talks and activities from some of the most creative minds across all disciplines. We have artists, researchers, designers, technologists, and many more. And a global event at this scale is only possible because of the hard work that our local leaders in different cities around the world are putting in. And tonight, I will be speaking with one of our local leaders from Paris, Cyril Fabus. Cyril, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Hello. How are you today? Very well. Well, that's great. And how is Paris doing at the moment? Well, we are in the uh, lockdown situation now, so uh, it's it's a little of a letdown, and we are hoping that we are gonna be away from that in three weeks. So, so, and we just started a new lockdown, unfortunately, in here, uh, which I've, I know is necessary, and we are everybody's waiting for the vaccine, you know, as well. Mm. Yeah, it's the same story that um, I keep hearing from everyone I've been speaking with um, in the, the lockdown and, and the vaccine rollout and stuff. So hopefully things are, you know, looking on the way up uh, in Paris and, and all around the world. Uh, but it's great that we are able to connect and collaboratively put together a festival like this, even without being able to, you know, see each other or meet each other in person. And that's, that's thanks to technology, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the internet. And it's great. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. So, Cyril, tell us a bit about you. Um, what do you do uh, in Paris? So, I actually, I am a research assistant so in the, at the University of Paris, uh, and I'm also a teacher here. And so I mainly work on creativity, um, and I also work on romantic love as a researcher. So I do uh, dystopias, and, and I also blend the two sometimes. So, so this is basic to what I do in here. That's very cool. And I can already tell you're a creative person because you mix and match these different things, right? And then create something totally new. Yeah. I, I Well, thank you. Uh, well, it would be natural to do that since I, I've been working on creativity and I, and I actually I work a lot on love. So it would be expected that I should match the two at one point mm. or another, you know. <laughs> what's, the, yeah. what's the relationship between creativity and love well there is not a lot of research on that topic we believe that it's a multi-dimensional one uh so i tested actually um uh, because love you have several types of love or, or several types of romantic love so i mainly tested with passionate love so it's a more intense type of love and which actually should have a lot of influence in, 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 in there is a lot of influence of passionate love in people's behavior uh, so actually, with my supervisor, because it, this was part of my PhD studies, uh, so this was one of the studies that I did. Um, we actually so actually made people think about the person they loved. You know, usually like we we tested on co college students, the majority of them are passionately in love with somebody when when at any point when we tested them. And we try, and that we ask them to do creative tests. So we use divergent thinking tasks and, and convergent thinking tasks. You know, so we can see how many ideas they they can produce, creative ideas, or or like work on one idea uh, and see how they goes. And then we send those. So this was reading things that they have to do. Uh, we we send that to judges. You know, to evaluate how creative were the stories they have to make stories. Uh, and actually, what we, we found out as I, I really was expecting the uh, opposite results, but uh, the more people were in love, the less creative they were. And, and this actually happens even more when we ask them, because we have a control condition, which we didn't mention the word love at any point, and they didn't have to think about the person they love. And we have an experimental condition in which we actually did, before everything, we said, think about the person you love. 
listen to a song that is related to this person that you love and write about about this about that person and we found actually with those groups the effect of not being creative is higher you know but uh there is other studies that show a positive relationship between two so we believe it's a multi-dimensional relationship between love and creativity uh as as you can find actually if you if you look at the scientific literature related to the the you know the relationship between emotions and uh and creativity you have different kind of results sometimes negative emotions are positive thing for people sometimes they're negative so we believe that is the same thing with love mm. i mean that is so fascinating i had never <coughs> you know connected <laughs> creativity with love yeah um yeah maybe maybe i should have a chat with my but, wife but, and no, just um... when you think about it like if you take into account art like a uh, love of the art is it's about love so you have the tendency mm. to think okay if people create our own love love it's something that helps people to be more creative mm -hmm. and how, yeah. how do you use that connection in your own life the connection between creativity and love how does it impact your life personally uh actually I never thought about that uh actually studying love helped me to understand my love life i would say <clears throat> and I, I would I, I guess that study creativity helps me to be more creative i'm pretty sure of that uh because i've been doing that I, i've been studying love for like 10 years now but uh, creativity i would say I, i've been doing that for like five uh so i, I can see that it helps because you you sort of starting to get the tools that can help you to be more creative but linking the two in a personal uh, way, yeah, maybe I don't know. I, I always was like, I'm, 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 as a person, personally, I'm a very romantic. I always wrote poetry for the, like the girl that I love or something like that. So I guess I've been doing that be even before I started to study those things. But I can't really tell you uh, exactly uh, if I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it helps me to think of being more creative when i'm in love or something like that great i mean you know i might call you after this interview and like you know have a chat with you and get some tips from you in terms of how i can oh, use okay. my creativity to <laughs> love my wife more maybe <laughs> great so tell us a bit about what you've been up to so far as a local leader for paris for world creativity day okay so we've been organizing uh different talks uh, so we are planning to have three channels, actually, so that things are going to uh, be happening in parallel. I will be taking more care of the, uh, actually, the research. So we have, like, a, a, a channel. This is going to be a Zoom channel uh, in which we have different people that are going to present their research. So we, we think that we are going to be opening, actually, the Paris Day with uh, a talk of my supervisor, which is Todd Lobar. So he's a very f famous researcher on creativity. We also have uh, a second channel that we'll be dealing with art therapy. So this is, uh, I think this ha will have like a more educational vibe than the research one, which we're just presenting research and things that we can find with studying creativity. And we have a third channel that is that is going to be made by uh, a, an association that we have here in France, that are, the name is Crea France, <coughs> that deals with the topic of creativity in very different ways. Uh, uh, so like it can be related to business or art or, you know, research. So, and actually they, they didn't provide me the, what they want to do exactly. They're still thinking about it, but uh, yeah, they, they, they are very, very excited in being part of this, of, of this event. Nice. That's, that sounds very cool. How you got like these three streams of activities happening yeah. simultaneously um yeah I'm, I'm definitely kind of excited to see that how that's going to work so um in terms of like the kinds of work that you do around creativity uh what kind of challenges do you currently face when you're you know either using creativity or teaching creativity to other people okay i didn't teach a lot of creativity as a teacher but uh, dealing with creativity i have to i've dealt with that so right now i'm working with the ministry of education here in france because they are trying to implement in the educational system so the the public uh, you know educational system they are trying to promote the four c's so it's creativity critical thinking communication and collaboration i'm working with uh 
the well, actually I'm working a little bit with collaboration, but I'm mainly working with creativity. And so it's a teamwork. I have to work with teachers, you know, because so they basically want to evaluate the kids on creativity. I suppose they want to try to to promote in classes uh, activities that 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 will spark creativity in, in the kids, you know. So usually it's going to be middle class middle class kids. Uh, and actually, I have to like, for example, helps teachers, you know, so school teachers actually, to you know to to do some items uh, and, and, and to help me to create this evaluation that I'm going to do. Uh, so I have to teach about them, about creativity, what it is. So what is divergent thinking? What is convergent thinking? Uh, and, and it's funny also to make them see like in the current, uh, the, the way they teach, a bit, you can notice that they don't implement creativity. They don't think about that. Uh, and that, and they figured out that sometimes they, from with some activities, they actually uh, um, promote creativity and, and make kids be creative. Uh, I'm also doing, which is very, very interesting. Um, we are also doing that with mathematics. So how you can be more creative on mathematics? So using mathematics problems, you know, problems of situations to help uh, uh, to evaluate creativity. So the idea, of, I think, for the Ministry of Education would be to implement, try to implement creativity uh, with mathematics, which is, I think it's it's very interesting to do. And you can especially see that the teachers of mathematics, you know, they really don't think about that when they are teaching math in school. Mm. And actually can be, I think it turns out to be something that it could be a fun activity that they, they can share with the with the students. Mm. So, so right yeah. now. And so the challenge... I would say it's mainly helping people to understand what creativity is, you know, the idea of thinking outside the box and, and, and the different types of creativity we can have and stuff like that. I think I would mm -hmm. say that this is the biggest challenge, but but people understand very easily and people get very interested in the topic for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I was really bad at math when I was at school, so I'm sure like, you know, some creative education there would have really helped me understand mathematics a lot better. Yeah, um, well, well, mathematics and creativity is more, uh, if you see the scientific literature, is more associated with actually people that are super good in mathematics. So those are the ones that really can think outside the box in terms of how to solve mathematical problems. This is not, usually it's not aimed to regular, like like me, you and me, people that are bad in mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and um, what would you like to say? to the, the local community in Paris and, and France around um, World Creativity Day? Well, I, I really hope that it's gonna be, people are gonna be interested. I think it's uh, like, which was what being said in education, you know, is the competence that you have to, to, you have, to have in the 21st century. And, and yeah, and and I think like maybe what it, I think is important a mess, important message that I can pass as a researcher or a teacher is that people have to, I think have the tendency to think that creativity is something innate you know either you have it or you don't have and it's not something that you can exercise like you can you keep you can if you do exercise or if you work on it you can improve you can start to be more creative so I think this is a message that uh that that i would like to pass also that creativity can be used everywhere in our, in our context you know education you know in in work uh and actually it, it can really help somebody to have a easier life or, or cope with work even if, if if you do a boring task uh with more happiness or something like that you know so we can mm -hmm. like in the sense of creativity can improve your quality of life i would say you know? Yeah, that, that, that's, a, that's a great message to wrap up our conversation, right? You mentioned creativity is not something you're born with. You can learn it and exactly. you can actually apply it on, on different parts of your life. And that does help improve your life and make you better, a better human and a better contributor to society. And that's such a great thing to hear from you, Cyril. So thank yeah, you thank so you. much. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, I hope okay. you enjoyed this chat. And yeah, I'm really sure, did. yeah, and I'm sure you know whoever's watching uh, right now has learned a lot about yourself, the the work that you do, and the uh, the kinds of activities that you are putting together for.
for World Creativity Day that's coming out of Paris. Uh, I'm super excited and I'm sure everyone is as well. Uh, and looking forward to uh, the 21st and the 22nd of April and all the things coming out of Paris. Me too. We are very excited in being part of this and we thank you very much to, to have invited us. Great. Well, thank you so much. We enjoy you your welcome. rest of your day and we'll see you on the 21st. Okay. See you. Thanks. Bye. Mm -hmm.